Marcus Mariota had a night that we don't see from him very often. He had one of those nights where he just tried to do too much and he went beyond the limits of his physical abilities. The meme that was instantly created was him while on the ground making a throw. That was the low light for the evening. Fortunately for him, he was on the ground, so the throw that resulted in an interception didn't count. But, you know, look, they, they got lucky in that they were able to get value from Matt Ryan, who has been a major disappointment for the Colts and either – isn't going to play again this year or is going to play again this year. He's back at practice. Who the hell knows if they're going to turn back to Matt Ryan at some point. Right now, they're so desperate. Jim Mercer is so desperate. I don't rule out anything. But you got Mariota and you drafted Desmond Ritter. Let's hear from Arthur Smith on the question of whether or not he considered yanking Mariota for Desmond Ritter last night. Kind of a little game, Josh. Got the ball back. The chance to go win it or tie it. At the end, our guys keep swinging. Mike, I know those are the, the popular narratives uh, right out there. Those are the easy questions to ask. As a whole football team, we got to do a better job, starting with myself. So we look every week to make sure that we got the right right guys in the right spots. And um, like I said, we got we got to protect better. We got to play the run better. You know, Chicago's going to come in here and try to run it 500 times. And so we got a lot of work ahead of us. So just to be clear, you can say Mike, uh, look, guys. You can make it about the quarterback. How about about the team? So we, we had an opportunity at the end of the, end of the fourth quarter of the last two weeks and uh, for a lot of different ways in a lot of different phases, Mike, we're, we got to get better. The reality is the quarterback gets excessive credit when it goes well and excessive blame when it doesn't go well. And when the quarterback has moments like the ones we saw last night, I mean, he's the guy who touches the ball on every play. If he's having a bad night, it's far more noticeable than most other positions. And he was having a bad night. And they've got Desmond Ritter. Now, that doesn't mean Ritter is even close to being ready. It was a quarterback class that there wasn't a whole lot of excitement about. Kenny Pickett has struggled. Malik Willis is still a work in progress for the Titans. So I don't know that throwing Ritter into the fray, Shireen, is really going to help. But, you know, at some point. And, and I don't know that I buy the idea that just because the game's close, you stick with the quarterback that is playing because it shouldn't be close. The Falcons were favored to win the game. The Falcons are the better team. And it, it if it's not working and if it's noticeable that the quarterback is just off and maybe it was the rain, who knows, who knows, but it, it he just wasn't there. He wasn't crisp. You have to be willing to at least consider it. And it sounds like, Arthur Smith was giving it no thought whatsoever. Here's the problem for the Falcons, and maybe it's a good problem. Maybe you look at it as a good problem. I don't know. But this team isn't a contender. They're, they're not going to win a playoff game. But they have a legitimate shot to get to the playoffs. And Marcus Mariota provides them the best opportunity to do that. And you're trying to win now. I get it. He's the best quarterback for this situation now. But again, Mike, this is not a team that's going to get to the postseason and do anything. If they get there, they're going to lose at home in a first-round game because the wild-card teams are much better than they are. But at some point, you got to start thinking about your future. And I looked at both of these teams, and I'm not sure which one I think has a better future. The Falcons have more talent on offense. The Panthers have more young talent on defense. I think if you put these both teams together, you'd be a quarterback away from having a really good football team. But I, don't, I think I probably would rather have the Panthers in their future than the Falcons in their future because they're going to get a new head coach. They're going to get a new quarterback. Uh, and it's not going to be Desmond Ritter. It's not going to be somebody you haven't seen and don't know anything about. It, well, it is going to be that. But it's, it's not going to be a guy that sat on the bench for a year and you don't know what you have in him. You're going to have a pick to go draft a quarterback or find a quarterback of free agency or trade for a quarterback, however that works out. But this could be a really good Panthers team next year if they can get that quarterback. It is about the quarterback. I don't care what Arthur Smith said. It is about the quarterback. If the Falcons had a good quarterback, they probably would be leading that division right now instead of half game behind the Buccaneers. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.